Hi and welcome back. It's the month of Stamp Temper for Simon Says Stamp and I'm joining the celebrations. It's a month full of new products, exclusive releases, as well as loads of inspiration and tons of giveaways. And I know that all these new products can be overwhelming, so today I'm focusing just on one stamp and I'm going to show you two different ways to use it to achieve completely different styles. So this is the Merry Christmas Trees stamp set. It's one of the big stamp sets. It's 6x8 and it features loads and loads of different designs of Christmas trees. There is one big one in a row, which I'm going to use for the first card, and then you get all those different uh, trees as individual designs. And there are also matching dies. I'm not going to use them at all today. So for my first card, I'm going to create a clean and simple card just very cheerful and colorful, not following the traditional Christmas colors. I'm going to create a mini slimline card, so I'm stamping the row of trees on a small panel. I make all my mini slimline cards to be 6 by 3, just because it's easier to measure. And this layer is just a quarter of an inch smaller, so it's uh, 5 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters. For coloring, I'm going to use my tree blends. I don't have a big collection, but just because you get three shades in one marker, they I find that they are enough. I don't do lots of uh, alcohol marker coloring, and I find them not very overwhelming. And I'm going to leave down below a link to all the markers that I used. So I'm going to kind of follow the rainbow order for, lo for all those trees. Now, in this design, I'm going for a clean and simple card, so all you need to do is to just use your favorite coloring medium, either it is your uh, watercolors, your markers, or your pencils, and add some color on those trees. I'm following the rainbow order, but for, but for variation, you can go with uh, different shades of uh, green for all your trees, or you can use pretty much any color that you like. For this card, I'm going to leave this panel quite flat. I'm going to embellish it with gems and you will see what I'm going to do later on as I put the card together. However, as I'm showing you how I did all the coloring, I am going to give you an idea on how you can pop this card if you like. Remember, in the stamp set, you get all these designs of trees individually as stamps. So you can stamp one, three, two or three of the trees that you want cut them out and then pop them on top of this image to give it more dimension. Other ways to create a quick, clean and simple card would be to white emboss this design on top of a blended panel or even on a solid cardstock. And here I'm finishing off the coloring by adding my purple. And if you want to take it a step further, you can, you can always color the background, the sky. I'm going to leave it as it is. For my sentiment, I'm using one from the same stamp set that says Oh Christmas Tree. I did the emboss it with white embossing powder on black cardstock. I'm just heat setting it here. And I'm going to cut it out with one of my sentiment ties. And this is one of my favorite styles of sentiments, a very thin black strip with white embossed sentiment. Although this sentiment is so slim, it really makes a difference. Just that contrast of black and white, it really pops on any card. I have an off-white panel here that's a 3x6 and I'm going to stick my panel on top of that to mat it by using foam tape underneath. This is going to pop and add some dimension on an otherwise flat card. I'm going to stick my sentiment down again using foam tape underneath. And finally, I'm going to embellish my card by adding some gems. Now, these are colorful gems in a rainbow order. And I think I got them in one of the Simon Says Stamp card kits from uh, the previous months. And they are going to work as Christmas ornaments all over my colorful trees. And of course, I'm matching the colors of the gems with the colors of the trees. So here is a look on the finished card, clean and simple and really colorful. And you can see here some close-up photos. And before I move on to the next card, just to let you all know that I have an exclusive code on my blog today. If you buy something from the latest release, make sure to check out that code for getting a free die. 
Now, moving on to the second card, and as I promised, I'm going to use a completely different style of this one. So I'm going vintage and with traditional Christmas colors. So I'm using two shades of green here, and I'm going to emboss on top three trees. For this card, I'm going to go with the individual trees, and there is plenty of them to choose from. I'm just going to go with three random ones. The actual thing here is that I don't have the matching dies. If you do have them, you can use pretty much anything. I decided to go with the three ones that were easier to cut out since I don't have the matching die. I'm stamping my trees with Versamark ink and I did prep the cardstock with my embossing bag just to make sure that the embossing powder is not going to stick all over the place. Two of the trees are going to be in the dark green cardstock, one of them in the lighter one, just for variation. You can go and create even more of the trees if you want. I'd like to stick with number three. It's pleasing to the eye, so I'm going to stick with that. And in any case, if you want to add even more trees on this design, just use odd numbers, so go to five or seven. I'm using my heat gun to make sure that all the embossing powder is melted and then I'm going to grab my scissors and do some fuzzy cutting. And of course the truth is that these are really easy to cut out since they are just some straight lines. However, if you do have the dies, you can use those instead. Now remember I'm going vintage for this card, so I cut out with my uh, decked edge trimmer this, uh, the sides of this panel. It's one of those details that really add to this style. I'm also going to ink up the edges and of course you can never go wrong with vintage photo when you are trying to achieve a vintage style card. I'm working on craft colored cardstock and I believe this is a desert storm. I'm only inking up the edges, I don't go all the way towards the center and I don't mind if I have some splotches here and there, I think they add to the look. Now I'm going to bring in this uh, new stamp, any text stamp would work, but this one in particular does have Christmas saying, so it really adds to the whole look. I'm going to stamp at the background, again using the same Distress Oxide, which is vintage photo. I didn't cover it up completely, I wanted those imperfections. And then on my glass mat I'm going to swipe my ink pad and add some water so that I can create some water splashes all over my background. And now today I have my windows opened and um, there are some birds outside doing some uh, funny noises. I hope they aren't too annoying for you. Anyway, I'm moving on with the cutout trees and I'm adding a little bit of vintage photo. You can completely clean it off from the embossed areas. I'm just going to quickly wipe them off and they do add a touch of vintage on the trees. And now it's time to put my card together. This time I'm going for a standard card size A21, that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to stick the lighter color directly on top of my panel with glue at the back. And for the two darker trees, I'm going on each side by using foam tape at the back. I'm using the same idea as a sentiment as I did for the first card. Instead of using black cardstock here, I did use dark green one. If you don't have the deckled edge trimmer, then you may have one of those dies that cut out panels with this type of edges. This is exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use gold glitter cardstock so that I can place it and layer it behind the other panel. I am going to stick one on top of the other by using foam tape at the back on an angle so you can see that uh, glitter peeking from the back and then I'm going to stick this panel on my card base which is made from dark green cardstock the same as the one on the sentiment. I will finish it off by adding a little uh, golden gem at uh, the top of one of the trees and I'm going to call this card done. I believe that any stamp can work for any style as long as you know how to work with them. So you see by using the same stamp set I created two projects in a completely different style. And I hope that this type of videos where I'm using one product in different ways is inspiring and helps you make the most out of your stamps. So that's it for today, I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, don't forget to visit my blog, there is an exclusive code there in case you want to shop from Simon Says Stamp. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like as well as leave me a comment down below. 
Thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.